many students and parents are confused on which board to be choosing. So in this series, we're going to be breaking down all the differences between the boards for each subject. In today's video, we're going to be comparing Edexcel and Cambridge. So we're going to be breaking down all the differences between the boards for each subject. And by the end of this video, we're going to be helping you decide which board you should be choosing based on your specific study style. So let's get started. <laughs> The first difference we're going to be discussing is the difference in the syllabus. And to be honest, I don't think that the differences here are major enough that this should be a turning point of a decision. There are a few exclusive topics for each board. For example, Edexcel has CERDs, Cambridge has STEM and LEAF diagrams, but the differences are very minor. The majority of the content is similar. And because of this, I don't really believe that the difference in the syllabus should be a reason you should be opting for either board. So again, there are certain differences although they are minor, between the two syllabuses, they are not significant enough that you should be choosing one of the boards because of that. And none of the two boards has significantly more content than the other. They both have almost similar or, or equal amount of content. Now comes the most significant difference between the two boards. And that's the fact that paper one in Cambridge is a non-calculator paper. Unlike Edexcel, in which both of your papers, you have a calculator. And this could be a pretty big deal for some students. As you know, many students these days are very adapted to calculators and their mental math skills are very weak. And because of this, them opting for Cambridge could be a very big problem because they would be very underconfident solving the first paper. Unlike Edexcel, in which you have the comfort of a calculation in both three papers. But again, this would also mean that the first paper in Cambridge would be much easier to accommodate for the difference of not having a calculator. So if your mental math skills are very good and you're confident in them, then opting for Cambridge could still make sense for you. Another difference is the difference in difficulty. And as I said, one thing we need to note here is uh, that this difference is very subjective, but the general view of most students and educators is that Cambridge is easier, which is also reflected by the grade boundaries. And Edexcel is seen to be quite a bit harder. But again, this is something that's subjective. It could differ from one student to the other, but the general view of most students and most teachers is that Edexcel is harder and Cambridge is easier. The next difference we're going to be discussing is the difference in paper format. Both boards have two papers, each of 100 marks, and each with a 50% weightage. But uh, one small difference between the two uh, boards is the fact that the Edexa has a modular approach, so there are a fixed number of topics for each paper. This makes it easier to prepare for because you don't have to study all topics for both papers. Another minor difference between the two boards is that Edexcel has a very organized paper format. So basically, the first few questions are easy, the next few are medium, and the last few questions are very difficult. So there's basically uh, a ramping difficulty as the paper progresses. While Cambridge does not have a similar format, it's basically simultaneous. You can have a, a difficult question, then a hard one, then an easy one. So basically, it's very unorganized, unlike Edexcel. So that's another difference. Even though it's a minor one, it could still be a deciding factor for some students. Another difference, although minor, is the difference in resources. We have to note here that Cambridge has been in the field for longer, and because Cambridge has seven year papers per year instead of four to five of Edexcel, Cambridge does have more resources and more papers for you to practice. I, although this is a minor difference, I believe Edexcel still has sufficient amount of papers for you to practice. This could be better for the people who want extremely intensive studying and want lots of papers to practice with. Then for that person, Cambridge could be the better choice. And the last difference we're going to be discussing is the difference in grade boundaries. And this is another significant difference between the two boards. Cambridge has significantly stricter grade boundaries than Edexcel, where Edexcel usually sits as around 75 to 80% to get a 9. Cambridge sits more at the 90% mark. Uh, and if, where in uh, Edexcel, you can lose 40 to 50 marks and still get a 9. In Cambridge, that figure something like 15 to 20. So in certain sessions, as you can see on the screen, there are some marks in which you'd get a 9 in Edexcel, but you would get something like a 7 in Cambridge. So if you're a person who does a lot of silly mistakes and likes to have a large amount of space to do mistakes, then going for Edexcel is a no-brainer because you, you can do significantly more mistakes before you start losing your 9s and 8s. To conclude, the decision on whether to choose a Cambridge or Edexcel is completely subjective. If you uh, are more comfortable with the easier paper and you're stronger in mental math and you don't mind the tighter grade boundaries, then Cambridge would be the better choice for you. But if you're someone who's very adapted to a calculator and uh, wants better, more space and but is okay with the more difficult paper, then Edexcel would be the right choice for you. 
I would say the majority of the students would find Excel to be easier, especially knowing that you have the calculator in both of your exams. But again, that's up to you. That's it for today, and I'll catch you in the next one.